Hey everybody, Jennifer here, and in today's video, I'm taking you along with me as I pack for our family's next big adventure. And friends, I have so much to do because tomorrow we're leaving for Japan. So many of you guys love my last pack with me video when we went to Disneyland Paris. I can't wait to share all of my packing tips and organizing ideas again. Now, I've been to Japan a bunch of times over the years. And I absolutely love it, but this is gonna be the first visit to Japan for the rest of the family, and I am so excited to show them everything. And all together, we'll be in Japan for about three weeks. While we're there, it might be cold, it might be warm and it'll probably be rainy. So today I'm packing up all of the snacks, the activities, the toiletries, and all of the clothes for six people. Now as always, this ends up being like the ultimate game of Tetris for me because it's my job to figure out how to fit it all in. And that's an extra challenge because each member of the family is only taking one carry-on sized suitcase and one personal item backpack. But since we are going to Japan and we hope to do some shopping, each kid is also getting one small collapsible duffel bag that they can fill up with their souvenirs. And then this time we also decided to check in one almost empty larger size suitcase as well. I'm gonna be filling this with lots of goodies and snacks from America. And these are to share with our friends in Japan. Of course, on the way back, we'll have extra space to bring things home. We are hoping to do lots of thrift shopping while we're there. Now friends, before I get to packing, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey friends, first up I'm packing lots of snacks and for this journey I'm also packing some meals too. This is going to be our longest flight ever, in fact I think it's going to be almost 17 hours long plus we have quite a long layover. Now of course some food is provided on the plane but we don't really know what that food is going to be so I want to be prepared. Now to pack all of our food I'm using these clear containers, I've had these for years and these are going to be like our lunch boxes. But these lunch boxes will also come in handy for the rest of our trip. And as you'll see, these are color coded. So many of our travel items are color coded and I love doing it that way. Each person in the family has their own color. That way we can all easily tell whose item belongs to who. I'm going to start by putting together a grab and go breakfast. We are leaving super early in the morning for this flight, like 3 a.m. So since nothing's going to be open at the airport at that time, I'm just making some really simple ham and cheese croissant breakfast sandwiches. This is something that all of my kids love. This is something that we can have after we get through security, but before we board our first flight of the day. And you guys, I'm wrapping these in foil because about 20 minutes before we head out the door, I'm actually going to pop these in the oven so that they can warm through and the cheese will be nice and melted. Now to go with the breakfast sandwiches, I'm also packing a little mandarin or orange for each person. Now for other snacks on the plane, I tried to get a huge variety. For each person, I'm packing a string cheese, a chomps beef stick, and some apple slices. And you guys, after I slice these up, I did let them in a little bit of salt water for a bit, and that's just to help them not turn brown. And then to go with the apples, I'm throwing in this little packet of almond butter. This is so delicious. Now one cold lunch that travels well, that my kids always love, is some leftover pizza. So I actually made some pizza muffins this morning. They're nice and cooled down now. Here's how I made them. I just took some store-bought pizza dough, I rolled it out, added some sauce, plenty of cheese, some mini pepperonis, and some more cheese. And to give these extra flavor, I also sprinkled on a little bit of pizza seasoning from Trader Joe's. Then you just roll it up as tightly as you can. I like to cut mine into eight pieces so they're nice and large. And then these go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. 
Now, honestly, I overcooked these just a bit since I was busy packing everything else, but that's okay. The kids will still love them. Now to go along with the pizza, I did want to pack some kind of veggie and we really like to do these carrot chips. They don't get all wilted and they're nice and crunchy and fresh. Okay. And of course, you know, I have to include some ranch to go on the side, but just so you guys know the ranch and technically the almond butter too are considered liquid. So I'm going to keep those separate until we go through security. Each kid is getting one of these fruit rolls. These ones are so good. They're kind of like a cross between a fruit leather and a fruit by the foot. Oh yes, and these ones all come with animal trading cards. So the kids love them. And then I can't forget about some chocolate. So each kid is also getting a little bag of these made good chocolate chip cookies. These ones are soft and chewy. And then to go along with that, I'm also adding in this peanut butter monster trail mix. This has peanuts, peanut M&Ms, peanut butter cups. So it's definitely a fun treat. Okay. Now for their drinks, the kids will be taking their refillable water bottles. We'll just fill those up after security. So to go in their water, I'm packing one little lemonade pack for each kid. Some of these are strawberry lemonade, some of them are peach, but they're all delicious. Okay. So for the kids, I've packed them breakfast, lunch, snacks, and treats. But then for the adults, I'm packing a little bit differently. Instead of packing a breakfast sandwich, I'm just adding in some hard boiled eggs. And then instead of pizza, I'm just packing my favorite protein bar. These ones are called barbells. They have no added sugar, but they really do look and taste like a candy bar. Next up, let's talk about activities for the kids. Now, when they were little, I used to pack so many activities for the plane and for our road trips too. But now that they're older, they don't need as much to stay entertained. Now, we actually took a trip to Books A Million and they each picked out a few things. And then I also got a couple of things from the dollar store too. So for books, Mackenzie chose this Taylor Swift coloring and activity book. This looks like a lot of fun. She also picked this Taylor Swift and the clothes she wears book. But I'm thinking this is a little bit too heavy. I'm not sure she's gonna wanna actually bring it or not. She might leave that at home. Jackson chose this interesting book, which is actually one of those kind of choose your own adventure book. I remember those as a kid and I loved them. Lily chose this coloring book with lots of fairies. And then Griffin chose these. This one's kind of like a Where's Waldo. And then this one is all mazes. To go with their activity books, each kid has a little pencil pouch. And then they're each getting their own little spiral bound journal to write in while they're there. From the dollar section of Target, I got these little Play-Doh kits. Now I know these look like they're for little kids, but my kids still love them and they're such a fun sort of fidgety activity. And speaking of fidget activity, also from the Target dollar spot, I got these little balloon dogs. Then from the Dollar Tree, I got these little Disney adorable blind bags. These are so fun. I also got one for myself because I love them. And then lastly, from the Dollar Tree, I also got one travel size pack of the Uno Go game. And that's for all the kids to share. There will be lots of movies that the kids can watch on the plane. But in addition to all of those activities, each of the kids have a few tech items they really want to bring. The two big kids have some old phones and we loaded those up with lots of music and audiobooks. And then for our younger two kids, we're trying out these new little MP3 players. We also loaded those with lots of music and books as well. We're going to be riding on lots of trains and going on a road trip. So I know these are going to come in handy for the kids and to keep all of those cords and their headphones and their chargers together, I got them each a little zipper pouch to use as a tech bag. Now, personally, I'm not packing any activities for myself. I'm hoping to sleep on the plane. But just like the kids, I do have my own tech bag, and that's where I keep all of my cords and electronic devices organized. My 
kids are still using their travel backpacks that we got on Amazon over a year ago. Now these have held up pretty well and they can fit a lot of stuff. This is where they're gonna keep their own snacks and their activities. But in addition to that, I'm also packing each kid an emergency change of clothes. This is something I love to do for every long flight. A change of clothes is a great idea just in case someone gets motion sickness or spills their entire cup of ginger ale on their lap. Yes, both of those things have happened, so we love a change of clothes. And I love to put them in a Ziploc bag. That way, if their clothes are wet, I can go ahead and put them in there after they change. Now for me, I'm just using the same Vera Bradley travel backpack that I've been using for over a year. And you guys, while it is cute, it's almost too big. It doesn't really fit under the seat in front of me very well. So I don't know that I would recommend this bag. So now moving on to clothes. And while I wanted to pack super light, I didn't really end up doing that. And that's because since we are going to Tokyo Disney and Tokyo Disney Sea, I really wanted to pack lots of cute coordinated outfits just like we like to do back at home when we go to Disney World. So I picked out our outfits based on themes. So for my girls and I, we have a Sully from Monsters Inc. day, a Duffy and Friends themed day, of course we had to do a Baymax day, and then we're also doing a Minnie Mouse day. And now for the boys, they're also doing a Baymax theme, a Mickey theme, a Mike Wazowski theme, and then a pastel Mickey and Friends theme. Now in addition to those clothes, I'm also going to be packing for each kid one pair of jeans, one nicer outfit to wear to church, a light jacket, a pair of shorts or a skirt in case it gets warm. And then I'm also packing a few warmer layers to wear to Disney. I've heard it gets pretty chilly in the mornings and at night. Now, as far as socks and undies go, I'm packing four days worth for each child because we will be able to do laundry throughout our stay. And of course, I'm packing some pajamas as well. Now guys, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you'll also know that I always love to include a traveling day outfit for each person. Now for this trip, we're all wearing our coziest pair of black pants. Then we're wearing a super cozy zip up hoodie in each person's color, of course. And then each person also has a really fun and colorful oversized t-shirt. Now my idea is that this is something that is comfy like pajamas, but is not actually pajamas. And that is because we are hoping to sleep on the plane. Next Next up, we're talking about toiletries. Now again, each kiddo is getting their own color-coded bag. These are the ones we've been using for years, and we've taken these through security lots of times with no problems. And some of these items the kid will end up sharing. Now in here, I'm packing for each kid their favorite shampoo. Not all of our Airbnbs will apply this, so we're bringing our favorites. And I did make sure to label them so that we can tell them apart. Next, the oldest three kids have their own Girl Scout cookie flavored deodorant. 
Girl Scout cookie scented deodorant. I'm also packing dry shampoo, some weave-in conditioner, some combs, some face wash, some body glide, a travel toothbrush, lots of toothpaste, one cute chapstick for each kiddo, and some hand sanitizer. For my husband and I, we're packing pretty much similar things in our toiletry bags, except mine includes some of my favorite skincare. And then of course we do have an extra bag. This orange one has all of the things like medicine, supplements, and just other miscellaneous items. And then for myself, I'm packing all of my beauty essentials. In this little organizer, I have things like my makeup brushes, my palettes and mascara. I have lots of makeup wipes, my glasses and my contacts, and then the stuff to do my own nails. I'm bringing a little bit of jewelry, and my favorite glittery pink nail polish. Now for the rest of my makeup, those are technically considered liquids. So I'm putting those in a separate bag until I get through security. Now Miss Mackenzie, she has her own makeup bag. She has all of her essentials in there, all the things she wants to bring. And then for all of our hair, I do have a separate bag for that to keep all of our tools and our brushes together. You guys, here are some things that I'm packing specifically for Japan. Now, of course, we are bringing our passports, otherwise they won't let us in. But recently, I saw a great idea on Instagram, and I think this is so helpful, especially if you're traveling with lots of little kids. I'm just gonna add a color-coded sticker to each passport. That way I can easily tell whose is whose without having to open each one of them. Next for Japan, I'm making sure to pack each kid a small day backpack. There are going to be days where we're exploring Tokyo pretty much all day long, and we're definitely gonna need a way to carry all of our stuff with us. And then you guys, because we are going to Japan, there's not a lot of trash cans just out in the open. So since we may have to carry our trash around with us, I'm making sure to bring some of these really adorable collapsible bags. Of course, these can carry our trash around, but we can also use these for grocery shopping. Next, we're making sure to bring enough cash. And that's because there are some places in Japan that only accept cash. And speaking of money, I'm also making sure to bring a wallet that has plenty of space for coins. And that's because in Japan, anything under $10 is a coin. So I need enough space to carry around all those coins. Another important thing to have in Japan is a comfy pair of shoes. There's going to be a lot of walking, a lot of stairs. We want to make sure we have good shoes so we don't get blisters. And then lastly, this part isn't totally required, but since we're planning on visiting several families and friends while we're in Japan, I'm bringing lots of snacks and goodies from America to give to the friends that we visit. And I'm also bringing a few Trader Joe's bags to deliver the snacks in. Okay friends, I just finished packing up everything and the house is pretty clean. We're supposed to be leaving in two and a half hours but we just got notified that our flight has been canceled. So stay tuned to see if we even make it to Japan. 